bath bedroom. Ready for guests, right? Oh, that's totally ready. They can sleep. I don't know. Oh my gosh. We're ready, right, Ollie? Yeah. We're ready for you, Adam and Catherine. We're ready. Have a, a puppy that's been vomiting. It is finally time to leave Crisfield, Maryland. Pivot has been here from Memorial Day all the way to Veterans Day and then some. So basically, Pivot has been here in Crisfield, Maryland for all of summer, all of fall, and now it's time for us to head south for the winter. Our friends Adam and Catherine from Adventures of A Plus K just left us and now we are in a sprint to get the remaining five days that we have left here in Maryland. Put it to good use and get all of our loose end boat projects tied up so that way we can have a safe and very comfortable cruise. One, crossing the Chesapeake and two, making our way south. Without further ado, let's get started. Holly is napping. We just installed our new sink. We have dishes everywhere. It's a real deal. Let's see. Does our sink have good pressure? One, two. Oh, the pressure thing's not on. <laughs> pressure pump. Oh god, stop. Turn it off. Up, 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 off. Up, 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 off. Oh god. Oh god. What did we do? So we have guests coming tomorrow. We have been, it, it, it does not at all look like we have been preparing for our guests to arrive, but in reality, we have been working our butts off to one, get videos uploaded consistently, two, finish the decks, which they are very close to being done, but not completely, and three, clean up in here and do all the other little small projects along the way, including the anchor and all these things, including fixing our bimini, including um, our new dinghy motor and all these things. They just take forever because you're on a boat. So this is the current state of affairs, if you would. Lovely little home. Deuces. Okay. <gasps> we have pressure! Wow. Wow, it's like real pressure. Wow. Real pressure. Oh my God. Wow. Our previous sink, it was like a trickle, and we replaced the cartridge, Did I took it all the way apart as far as I could. We ran a snake through it, and we just couldn't get the pressure out, so. Let's try it again. Oh! oh. That's nice. That's nice. Oh. Since we always work around the weather, I will be working outside today because today is one of our two sunny days left of our five days that we will be here. The remaining few days are either cloudy or they are rainy. So <laughs> I'll be working outside doing a lot of hosing things down, cleaning the boat, getting the dinghy ready and everything else. First project, getting the dinghy motor all situated. So one of the things that we've yet to do for our dinghy is put this cover on it. The previous owner made this handmade cover for the dinghy that kind of covers the top and protects it from the sun. So now we're actually going to try to put this on and see if we like it. It's going to be kind of a, just a test. We might take it off, who knows, but we're going to give it a go. the handholds where the um, like the outline for the handhold is to the fabric to the like the main fabric it's kind of coming apart so they're not really glued down that well and one side of the dinghy cover is a bit tighter than the other side so I don't know if we're going to actually use this or not um, but at least we're giving it a shot we're giving it a go like most things that we do we're giving it a go we're giving it a try We'll see how it goes. Whoa! Hey. 
Next up, uh, we have to just wash out the dinghy a little bit. Just a quick rinse. dinghy project. Dinghy is clean, ready to be used full time, all these transportation vehicles, and now up for our next project. The next boat project for me is that I will be rinsing all of our lines. They're kind of covered in a little bit of dust from all of the uh, sanding, grinding boat projects. So I'm going to wash them one by one, no soap, just, just plain water um, in the bucket, and, and then let them dry out in the sun. To dry them out, I'm just gonna lay them in the sun, um, let them dry, and I'll be doing three at a time so that way I can keep three on the boat and then three, three drying. And then halfway through, I'll kind of switch it around, put new lines on the boat, and clean the lines that are holding the boat to the dock. So the last little bit of wash down cleaning we need to do, besides pivot. We need to wash down the window covers just to give them a rinse. They haven't been rinsed. They probably are covered with a lot of dust and dirt and stuff. So wash that and wash our stand-up paddleboard covers because in addition to many things that we we bought for the Chesapeake we thought would be potentially paddleboarding on the Chesapeake and uh, exploring in a, some fun unique ways by the dinghy, by stand-up paddle boards. We bought some stand-up paddle boards right before Elliot broke his wrist. So we need to wash the covers and we'll be doing that. If anyone knows how to get this like stained it looks like mildew or, yeah, I don't know, staining on this, I don't know what material it is. Please leave us a comment below of uh, how to get this stuff off. We'd appreciate it. As for now, though, it's just water. Done is better than perfect. That finishes the last three lines of giving them a nice clean, and uh, on to the next project. Yesterday we finished painting the decks and they came off pretty well, although you will have already seen that video by now. And today is our second to last day here at the dock and we are just doing a whole bunch of last minute errands while we have a car here. On the top of our list though is Ollie. So Ollie has been not feeling well the past couple of weeks. You haven't really been able to tell on camera because she's doing well the majority of the day but unfortunately, like in the mornings, every other morning she's thrown up, which is not good. So we finally decided to take her to the vet and it's been a weird thing because she'll be fine all day and then every other morning, you know, it's not consistent. So we're gonna take her to the vet before we leave since it's easy here and hopefully nothing's wrong. That's our most important thing we're, we're doing today. The few other odds and ends that Elliot did not mention are basically all the things that are left on our list. And our list has been growing over the past two days. Instead of it being a two and a half page list, it has now grown to a four page list. But the benefit of this list is that the fourth page is literally the last page in this notebook. So it can't grow anymore after this. Why are you not feeling well? We've tested your food, we've tested your water, we've given you a bath, we've... What else have we done? Oh, we've cleaned your treat bowl. Treat? Did someone say treat? You wanna give me a treat? I like the treats. Well, what's going on? 
just uh, have a, a puppy that's been vomiting, so I wanted to get her checked out. vomiting bile every other day here for a little while is it does it seem to happen more in the morning or is it kind of randomly throughout the day it actually sounds similar to bilious vomiting syndrome that can be managed and prevented with feed a small meal right before bed sometimes hmm. um, just because essentially the, the bile sits on the stomach it causes them to be nauseous and so first thing in the morning they just want to vomit all that bile up all right sounds good thank you very much doc you're welcome all right, bye. Good news. Okay. Hi! Hi, welcome back! Hi! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Oh! Are you mad at us? Are you mad at us? Um, Are you mad at us? Huh? Are you mad at us? <laughs> Alright. Love you. Two new batteries, check. Heavy. It's just me, is that bigger? Oh my god, it's so freaking heavy. Shoot, it's backwards. <sighs> That's a problem. Okay, so I forgot to connect the common ground. So, where did that wire go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that one had two on it. You see the goose? <laughs> yeah, it's because it's all the freaking over here. She's parting, baby! Oh, Linda, you sound so nice. Very nice, very nice. Thanks, Linda. All right, now I need to cover these up, and that's one project that we can cross off the list. Yay! I one. Install batteries. Check. Check! Mate. I just finished reinstalling the dinghy bimini. So now our man Fred is all ready for some uh, dinghy rides. We're ready to uh, skirt skirt out of here. It is one day till departure and first step today is to get a pump out. We don't really need it, but it'll be good to start from zero and fuel up. So that way we can hit the road early tomorrow. It'll be windy this afternoon windy Monday, tomorrow is Sunday, so this is kind of our, and the Marion is closed tomorrow, so we can't get it tomorrow, so it's our one opportunity to get that. And then we have a monster pack day today. So much stuff to do, huge list. Top on my list is I need to reattach these stairs going up to the flybridge. I took off the hardware when I was replacing the deck. That's very important because it's Im impact safety. I need to get everything solar working and nothing's installed right now, so that's a big job.
diesel fuel pump out, check. We are good to go. Now we have to get back into our slip and there's quite a bit of wind um, pushing us. So we're gonna see how it goes, like everything. Oh, here we go. Boat fuel, pump out. Docking did not go perfectly. Um, it was just so much wind coming into this dock. Let's see what it is right now. I don't even know. We wouldn't normally dock like this, but we needed to get fuel and pump out today. And yesterday, everything took longer than we thought. It's gusting pretty high. It says 10 knots right now. It's definitely more than that. But you can see the rest of the day is getting rough. Today, we are going to be doubling our solar capacity and adding a much needed part to our electrical circuitry here on Pivot, and that's a battery monitoring system. Two huge things that will really help our day-to-day -day and life here on Pivot. Our first two panels and how they were situated on our Bimini worked fantastic. For the first two months on the Great Loop and while we were here in Crisfield for the beginning, no problems at all. It worked just as intended. However, once we got back after breaking my wrist and the boat was just in the slip for a while, we realized we should have taken them down because the zip ties that we had holding them together rubbed away and this is what happened. And I had previously designed the system to where I don't need to do anything when I get to two more panels, just switch around the wires and plug and play. It is so windy today. We are leaving tomorrow, ideally tomorrow morning, because that's when we find the wind is the most calm, typically, not always. But it is so windy today. I just checked Navionics and it said it is 19 knots and gusts over that. Two slips over from us, the water is spraying off the top of the, like the crest of the wave. So it is just, it is pretty gnarly today. In a way, it's a good thing because it makes us very cautious, very aware, which is kind of what we were doing when we were on the water regularly. We were constantly checking the weather, constantly checking Navionics, constantly checking Predict Wind and my radar and all of these different apps, all of them, all at the same time, and kind of comparing different weather models. But man, it is gnarly today. So, since we're checking all these weather models today, it's, it's, it's a good thing because it's just getting us back into that really good habit of checking them regularly, but man, it does, it does make me a little nervous and a little scared. But because we have so much work to do today, I don't have time to be scared, so that's kind of a good thing too, you know, so chop chop, let's go. All right, next up is the laundry and we have bags of it. So we are doing sheets, we are doing clothes, we are doing towels, everything. So we can start our trip going south, clean. Paintings done. Laundry done. It is 1 a.m. I have to be up at 4 a.m. because we're selling the car that we used here at 4 a.m. Man, it's been such a long day. Jen and I were talking about it at dinner tonight, and we haven't taken a day off in a month 
most we've taken off is an afternoon and that's when we kind of took a date night to go pumpkin picking. <laughs> it's been a wonderful month of no breaks. We've had some fun. Um, Adam and Catherine came to visit, which was awesome. I'm half delirious right now. I'm so freaking exhausted. And uh, we have a cool new project that we finished. That's kind of why I was up this late. <gasps> it's a battery. What? It's a battery monitor. I still have to mount it, so it's not fully done, but I hope I can mount it tomorrow before we go. We do have some final things to do tomorrow, but we don't have to leave until 11 because we only have a four hour cruise. Jen is taking her last hot shower at this marina. We're gonna run the heat tonight. It's gonna be 39, pretty cold. Our plans leaving the dock have been delayed one more day because of this really, really windy front that came in. So we're filling it with more projects. <laughs> Just maximizing the time and maybe we'll be able to finish our full four page list. And we're finally getting rid of our headliner that we've had on board Pivot since our maiden voyage to Trace. Like finally there's rotten wood from our fiber is going. So that concludes our very long five days preparing the boat. It actually turned from five days into like, what, seven days? Um, because of weather concerns and whatnot. But our four page list, one, two, three, three, four, four, last page. We did get most of it done, which is excellent, which is really great. But we had to move it to a new list because um, it was getting a little overwhelming. <laughs> we and, needed to organize it. Yeah, and so it, we got a majority of the things done. So that has been excellent. But we are so exhausted. That was also part of the reason why we extended to stay like an extra two days was because of how tired we were. Like we were up until one in the morning finishing things. Yeah. But. We got to a really good place and we're really happy that we stayed because today's weather was gnarly. It was, it was atrocious. Yeah, it really was. It was, it was just terrible. It was about 30 knots sustained almost all day. Yeah. There were white caps in the protected cove that we are currently in and the waves were splashing up above the, the floating docks. So it was just not the best day, not the most pleasant day to be out on the water. We are incredibly happy though to be leaving the marina and heading south tomorrow. From all of our tasks, we finish the ones that make Pivot safe to travel in. We have our non-skid on our decks. We have all of the hardware and ladders reattached and a bunch of other very important tasks done for us to leave. Yeah, so we feel confident that we can safely cross the Chesapeake given a comfortable weather window. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us as we've been knocking out these boat projects here in Crisfield. It's been a long time for us and we are excited to get back on the water. So we hope you enjoy as we head south. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. We're very excited, um, but a sprint does mean that we will be working a ton all around the clock. A little scary. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> 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 She's saying, Dad, leave me alone. Okay, all right. Leave Kisses. me alone.